Hi, this is Kayla from Hit The Floor and I'm here with John from Seether. Um, yeah, so why are you doing semi-acoustic shows as opposed to a full show? I think we wanted to do something different this time. We've been uh, over here uh, quite a bit actually in the last two years and uh, I think we just wanted a sort of a different vibe for a tour. Uh, we did an album some years ago called One Cold Night, which was kind of a live acoustic performance. and. Uh, uh, we never toured on it or anything. We just we just did the one performance, and we've done acoustic shows here and there. But this will be a full tour of nothing but acoustic shows, and it's a lot of fun for us. I think a lot of the songs lend themselves sort of to that that vibe, and uh, uh, like here tonight uh, in London playing um, this you know Union Chapel, beautiful place, and and a lot of uh, great venues on this tour uh, because of the acoustic setting, different than just the usual live show. Mm -hmm. So. You're very exposed and uh, sort of, you know, also it's a very kind of intimate thing with the audience, but I, I think it's cool and we're looking forward to it. Awesome. So you said about Union Chapel being a beautiful venue, it's like why did you choose Union Chapel as a venue? Well, we kind of learned about it as we went. We were told about the great acoustics, it being an old church and, you know, it would be, be a great vibe, so we were, we were all for it. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure enough, we did a pretty long sound check. This is the first show of the tour, so we were run through you know the songs for the first time, and it sounded great in there. Yeah, it's 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 awesome. There were a few pictures taken, and and the giant arches you see in the back there, of the stage with mm -hmm. you know when it's lit. I think it's going to be really cool. Awesome. Um, how do you think the semi-acoustic will differ from like a regular show? Well, I think you know obviously just by nature the volume will be a lot less, and you know. Uh, It'll be sort of completely different, you know, to be honest, you know, we really, we kind of turn things up and knock stuff over and it's a sweaty rock show and this will be different tonight. This will be, you know, low key, uh, Sean will be talking in between songs, telling a little bit, you know, the history and the background of each song. So it's kind of different, you know, but it's still Seether. It's just the songs are kind of just, there's kind of a different spin on the songs, you know. Yeah. So how do you think the smaller, like, Union Chapel venues compared to the bigger arena shows or bigger venue shows? Yeah, the people are right there. It's kind of intimate. It's like playing the smaller clubs, mm. which, I, which I like, you know. Um, the band's very close on stage and, and the people are right there. And um, those venues, I don't know, uh, when you play those bigger shows or those festivals and you have that 8 foot, 10 foot barricade, I just feel like sort of a disconnect to be honest, you know, it's almost like I can kind of look down on the drummer for the band and just kind of lose myself in my world and uh, you just see a sea of people and it's hard to focus on one individual and, and it's kind of a different vibe so this is more intimate and, and personal I think and um, it definitely, you know, puts this on the line, you know, we, we got to perform, you know, which we, we pride ourselves in our musicianship and how we perform as a band, but, um, it, you know, the screw-ups will be a lot louder <laughs> and more <laughs> obvious tonight than they would be if, yeah. you know, we were just cranking stuff, you know. Yeah, so I've, I've noticed, like, a couple of other bands have done, like, acoustic albums and are doing more acoustic shows, like, why do you think that that's happening now? I don't know, I guess it seems to kind of go in cycles, you know, it seemed like back in the 90s there were a lot of unplugged shows and sessions, you know, that MTV was doing, so perhaps maybe it kind of goes in cycles, but, you know, that's basically, you know, the essence of, of a lot of rock music, you know, and uh, if, to me, if it, it doesn't sound good on acoustic, it's not a, it's really a, a good song to me. I mean, obviously a lot of heavier stuff doesn't maybe work, but uh, I think for the most part our music, the type of band that we are, uh, works really well in the, in the acoustic vibe. Um, what songs are you most proud of? Like, see the songs you're most proud of being a part of? Oh man, that's that, that's, that's hard <laughs> to say, you know. They're, you're proud of all of them. You work hard mm. at the time. You're trying to put out the best material at the time. The, each album, I feel, is like a photograph of that time and place where we were sort of mentally and musically, you know. So we hope to evolve with each album. And so picking any one song, that, that's kind of tough. but. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this band. I think we've been very fortunate to have the success that we've had, and um, and I think the songs have sort of connected with a lot of people. Here we are, you know, in in London. You know, I never thought I would be doing this when I was a kid. I mean, that's all like, that's like a dream, yeah. you know, to be in a band and be able to do this. So here I am doing it. So mm. anyway, uh, I'm sorry to digress from your <laughs> question, but I it's hard to, I think to pick any one song. Mm. 
Okay, so we're on your tour bus. Is tour like non-stop partying or is that just a myth? <laughs> I think you have to cut loose. You kind of go insane out here. You know, you can't after it. We, we've been off for a little bit this last year. We put together the, the sort of greatest hits and we went in to track a couple of so new songs for it and we've been writing kind of for the new album. So we've kind of had a break for the first time really in 10 years, had a little time at home, which, which, you, which you need that balance. So yeah, catch us about nine months into an 18 month tour and you kind of go crazy and you're kind of letting loose. So no, it's not nonstop partying, you know, this is uh, serious at times as well. I mean, it's music, we take our music seriously, mm -hmm. our art seriously. So, um, but yeah, I mean, you, you, you'll go crazy, man. So we, we have, we cut loose and we have fun, you know.